Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so... <clears throat> This is going to be a reading for a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising a weekly reading for July 15th to July 21st, a 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards <clears throat> and we're going to jump straight away to, uh, to the spread and the reading. Alright, so <clears throat> the first card which represents uh, the topic for Taurus this week, this is going to be uh, the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Taurus needs to face throughout the week, this is going to be the Six of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week uh, for Taurus, that is going to be the Sun card. And then the last one which stands for the guidance that... Uh, Tarot has for Taurus, this is going to be the Moon card. So uh, let's run the cards one more time and then we're going to scrutinize the reading completely. All right, so Eight of Pentacles, it is the uh, topic of the week, followed by the Six of Wands, which stands for the challenges. Then it is the uh, Sun card, <clears throat> which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one, that will be the Moon card, which stands for the uh, guidance for Taurus. All right, so uh, for what it seems, uh, guys, uh, this uh, week is gonna mark something like a um, something like a, a beginning. I would say that uh, it's not exactly, how, how can I describe it? It's not exactly a um, grand flow type of beginning, all right? But it marks the beginning of a thing that you probably planned for a long time or you hoped for to have a chance to start doing for a, a long time. Now, the problem here, especially if the reading applies into your career, so the problem is going to be that probably you ain't going to face either the appreciation or the rewards that accompanies this drive of yours okay but these rewards and appreciation is are going to come further down the road in the future so let's say that you do a big favor to your boss okay but your boss is not going to appreciate that straight away it is just probably in a couple of weeks from now or in a couple of months from now they are going to see you know how productive or how helpful you were so the topic itself here, it is, the, it is the Eight of Pentacles, excuse me. So this card in generally points to this initiation of a, ta of a, a thing uh, which took either a long time to prepare or you hope for to have a chance to do something about it for a quite a long time. And now for this week as a topic, it does urges you to have a, a, keen, eye, a keen eye, excuse me, for the uh, minor details out there so you can take absolutely everything let's say uh, under consideration and start tackle with from the small issues that are residing into the matter and moving your and making your way up to the uh, 
bigger enterprises, should I say that way, that concerns the situation itself. Sometimes though the Eight of Pentacles uh, call for the, excuse me if my pronunciation of this word, it's kind of a little bit off, but it's because of my, of the sounds of my, uh, of my native um, alphabet, it's, it's a bit difficult to pronounce this word, but it should go as conscientiousness something like that it's it's conscientiousness when you do something with great amount of uh, of care all right and accountability as well the accompanied card here is going to be uh the eight of uh, the eight of cups and so this plays a couple of roles here and it does depend what your situation is all right that could be a restart or it could be a substitution and let me tell you what i mean here so it could be that you have planned with your husband to go on a vacation a couple of years ago into hawaii let's say all right but something happened midway and this vacation couldn't couldn't take place and this is something that you that it that it is taking a long time to develop you're waiting for that moment for this chance again to happen you know for a, a couple of years and now this week you do have that chance to have a, a second go on, on this uh, enterprise or it could be that you are you know chasing this uh, woman all right to to be with her but she had a boyfriend back then in the past okay or she choose someone over you and now as she's single once again you do have a, a chance to initiate another let's say conquest to get that woman for you it could be as well as well a male I, i'm trying to be gender neutral here because i am getting you know criticized that i am kind of like giving more uh, as a uh, <clears throat> i'm focusing more on a, an examples given to uh, like a women's subject right and i'm doing that simply because the majority of uh, my audience probably is a, uh, a, a woman i mean tarot cards is more like a women thing and that's why i'm doing it not because i am biased in any way but yeah uh, and the substitution uh could be that you know something you you try to do something good either into your career either into your relationship it didn't happen all right but this was not the only ace in your sleeve and now you get to do something different which is good that will have the same positive impact upon the situation and as i said here um with the challenging cards these which you are uh, those which you are expecting to have an, an appreciative opinion and to really uh, how can i place it pet you by your shoulder and tell you good job they're not going to do that, unfortunately, for numerous reasons, either because they are um, occupied with something else, or either because this is not something important for them right now, and etc, etc, either because they are getting it for granted at this uh, particular point. The thing with the six of uh, wands is that, as a challenge here, is, is that you may expect, you know, that whatever you're trying to, to push forward with, all right, it's going to be faced with a lot of applause. These uploads ain't going to come around, unfortunately, in this week. But this doesn't mean that you are on the wrong path. Just on the contrary, as the sun suggests, which is the, the next card. Just because you don't have a confirmation of the positivity that you are exerting in your life, it doesn't mean that you are not exerting anything positive in there. The accompanied card here is going to be the Hierophant. <clears throat> and... Uh, the formation here it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have and with the hierophant card it does look like that you may build up some doubt within yourself like i said that you are not on the right track you know or you're doing something in vain uh, you are trying to to step out in a futile way if i may express myself that way and uh, exactly these kind of like standpoints of a, an emotional state should not be a thing that have to make you withdraw right even if you stand if you even if you stand alone against the world in this case that is within your head because the world simply doesn't care okay it's just the dead their glance is not focused on you at that stage but continuing down further the roads with your agenda you're gonna make him see that you know you are doing something great and these people are to appreciate it either those people or your family your co-workers your boss 
um, we always need to or tr we are always trying to step out with something and it seems that you have found a way to do so in one or many of the fields of your life which leads us to the next card here and that will be the sun card and this is the positive aspect so uh, the sun card is a bit of conditional and it only takes place if you are able to overcome the challenge not get discouraged that there is no one there to applaud you all right and that will deprive you from reaching a peak of experience not because you're going to do a bad job but because this peak is not going to be appreciated by by those that by everybody that you want to so what the sun here points is that if uh, we are talking about your career then the sun shows that whatever project you're working on you know or whatever plan you're trying to push on forward with can be and will be very lucrative even more it has an, an enormous um, field moving forward to grow it, it, it just it just has these energies of expand and for that reason, you know, you should not drop off that idea. Same goes in regards to your relationship. But for relationships as well, the sun even has a little bit of a different structure. It does point to, to, to more peace that you may... Um, that you may... How can I place it? That you may exert into this uh, into this relationship that you can establish in there peace in between you and your wife peace in between you and your husband peace in between you and your uh, and your boyfriend for example it's it's simply the same points that as soon as you start incorporating this agenda into your relationship whatever whatever it is that you want right um you and your partner in there are going to uh, bury down the the tomahawks of war okay I not to mention that the sun point that this is your natural unfoldment. I mean, this is the natural part that you should go forward. So what the sun here really points to you, Taurus, is, is that whatever you do throughout the week of um, July 15th to July 21st, you're simply supposed to do it, okay? And you should not get discouraged if you're not faced the uh the help that you hope for or the approval that you hope for as well the accompanied card here is going to be the uh the empress and the formation it is the active neutrals once again so we are talking about here of a high amount of um, of activity okay because the 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 empress uh kind of tends <clears throat> to take the things slow to detach from these activities so it could make a decision so it could make uh, you know, <clears throat> kind of like more mature approach to all the situation, which again, it's related with decisions. But as soon as you realize that you are meant to do whatever you are doing throughout the week, there is nothing there to decide, really. I mean, that, that will be completely enough for your personal determination uh, to, to push the things to the very end, either because you are chasing someone to get married, you know, either because you're pushing a project and you want to see it successful, you are. It's just it takes the guts here to overcome, you know, the discouragement that there is going to be no one there to applaud you for it. And the last card that we do have for you guys is going to be the uh, moon card, which is the uh, guidance that... Uh, you are supposed to follow or that it is advisable for you to follow and the moon card is another confirmation to the sun card it's just these both cards almost means means the same thing as a, a follow-up and falling into these uh, positions because as a guidance the moon points that even if it doesn't make any sense you should not deviate from the path that you have chosen and the sun card as a, a positivity point to you that you are moving into your natural path so they are saying the same thing in a different way, all right? <clears throat> and this is a, a big confirmation that this week for you, Taurus, is uh, you are destined to do or to establish the foundation of great things. So I strongly suggest you guys not to waste your time, but do something about stirring out things that you... Um, yearn for a long of time and that you hoped for as well for a long time ago the accompanied card here is going to be the devil and <clears throat> the formation it is a, a passive uh, friends that we do have so uh, 
usually the moon doesn't show uh, the end of the road here because the 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 road is high is hidden behind the summit so you you cannot see where you're going but with the devil card as a uh, catalyst to the moon it does look like that you're going to a big wish of yours i not very often say that you know tarot definitely shows wish fulfillment or dreams fulfilled or anything like that you know but pretty much as a, a guidance here that that is your guidance you're gonna get a, a wish fulfilled all right this wish doesn't mean happiness however so that is something that you need to think about all right uh, about how much you want something you know how much something means to you this that you are to s start working on throughout the week either relationship or or career it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day it's going to be yours either bitter or sweet you have to tackle and deal with it and you know for for that reason you will have to find a way how to structure it in a, such a fashion that you're gonna feel comfortable with it that that's the whole point of the devil card because you're gonna have the power you know to to reach the end and i hope that you're gonna like it because it's something you want it and don't forget that sometimes the devil gives us what we want so we realize that it is not what we really wanted okay but in your case you're destined it seems to to get it maybe the reason is going to be so you realize that it's not what you wanted and that is going to teach you a big deal of lessons, you know. Some of you are going to find that this is exactly what you wanted and you're going to be very happy afterwards. Well, I guess the time will tell. So that was your weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.